Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo here. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Um, I don't know if any of y'all saw, but wow. Um, all the new subscribers I gained, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to thank all the YouTubers that gave me a shout out. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Anyway, and I'd like to thank everybody that, um, subscribed. Yeah, you're the bomb. Yes. And all my old subscribers, love you guys dead from the bottom of my heart. Wait a minute, I love my new subscribers too. From the bottom of my heart. And I sincerely mean that. I know, I look like a crazy person right now. But anyway, um, I'm going to be releasing my videos on Thursdays until further notice, um, unless something changes. But if it does, I'll let you know if I go back to Wednesdays. Um, but just for the time being that I know of. But I'll keep you updated. And anyway, I want to say again, I love you. I appreciate you all. You all are absolutely amazing. Best subscribers in the whole wide world. Yeah, you are. And y'all mean the world to me. And I have four DIYs for you today. I had more, but I had to shorten down the video because it was like nine hours worth of editing. And I was like, dude, I've got to get this video out. Um, Abby, you want to say hi? Say hi. Maybe she don't want to say hi. There. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> I think she's afraid I'm going to take her picture and she hates the flash. But anyway, um, I love you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. That helps YouTube recognize me more and ruin my video more. And um, I got a, a lot of exciting things coming up, collabs and stuff like that. And I'm really excited about I think y'all will be too. And... Um, there's just so much I gotta say, and I just can't just stay here talking to y'all forever, but you, I want to. Anyway, alright, um, so, I'll see you soon, and again, I love y'all from by my heart, and let's get on with the video! Okay, <clears throat> y'all right here, <clears throat> gee whiz, I got a board out of the garage, because we had tons of wood out there. I didn't measure the size of it because I'm a loser but um anyway it's it's about the same length as one of those um little signs you get from the Dollar Tree yeah so anyway I give it a quick sand down and I'm gonna paint it all in elephant <clears throat> excuse me and I just give it like one like coat I'm not um just Look, I'm not looking for perfection or anything. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've already just started, like, spacing out because I looked away looking at the board to see how long it was and missed part of what was even going on in the video. Okay, so I got that mineral paint, and I'm going to lightly brush over it. And I'm just going for it. I didn't know. I knew in my mind what I wanted. So, I was just going to, I'm using a chippy brush there, too. I'm just trying to figure out by looking at it what I want. Does that make any sense, y'all? Do I ever make any sense, y'all? Okay, so, I'm just going to sand it down and sand it down a lot. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know why I said, see, a lot. Then, I'm going to take a chippy brush, take white chalk paint. And go over it some more. Now, in some of those places I heavily distressed, I put heavy chalk paint because I just liked it. I thought that looked good. So, that's what I did. <clears throat> Alrighty then. So, y'all can get these little tiny hooks like this from the Dollar Tree. I've gotten a lot of those from Goodwills and stuff for literally like change um so i got my little ruler out there and i'm going to measure every three inches um i don't know why i showed you me doing that much of it could have just said it no not me i gotta make you all suffer through with me 
And I took my drill and I just uh, made little pilot holes because, I mean, I'm getting old, y'all. I mean, come on. I just don't have the strength I used to. Anyway, I used to. I probably could have screwed one of those into a cinder block, but not anymore. I'm ancient. Okay, so I got me a clothespin here, and thank God I cut out. I forgot how to put the clothespin back together. Y'all should have seen me like 20 minutes worth of trying to figure out how to get the clothespin back together. I'm going to paint it exactly how I painted the board. Well, not exactly how. I'm using the same colors. Anyway, <clears throat> and you'll see what this clothespin for. I thought this was a bright idea. I was like, I'm so smart. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't think of anything else. I was all over this house. I looked at peel bottles. I looked at little plastic shot glasses. Um, I don't drink alcohol. I actually put my medication in. Them. <laughs> but anyway, so there I'm trying to get the clothespin back together. Finally did. Now, I'm just going to hot glue it on here. And I'm and apparently scrape some paint off the mat there. That's why I'm hot gluing it in case I wanted to change it later. But I hot glued that clothespin on there because I thought I could change out the flowers and greenery per season. So I'm just wrapping some twine around there all the way down. I put some hot glue so I can go as close to the bottom as possible. Yep. And there you go. And I cut out on my Cricut because my husband actually, actually wanted this font, font. Font. <laughs> anyway, keys. Yeah, that's what it is. This is going in my living room. He wanted something that looked like old, and I was doing some pretty cursive. And he's like, "Ah, eh, really? I like to have something that look old." And I don't usually give him much when it comes to anything. You know, when it comes to decorating the house, I pick out everything, but. Anyway, I'm just showing y'all here, look, we all struggle sometimes with vinyl. If you're brand new with a Cricut, you are not the only one. And I placed it there. I placed five hooks. So I put it in between the, the K, in between the first and second one, and the S in between the fourth and fifth one. And I'm, and then I put my little key down. I like even numbers when it comes to stuff like that. So why I put five hooks is beyond me. Anyway, here it is, y'all. And remember, you can check. He hasn't put it on the wall yet. He wouldn't let me hang it because he wants to hang it, um, make sure it goes into the studs of the wall. And he knows me. I'll just hang it up there so it'll fall down later. But isn't that pretty? I like that idea with the clothespin and the different flowers and or greenery or whatever. Yeah. I thought that was different. <clears throat> Heaven knows I am different. How long did I show it to you for? Alright, so I got me a little cake pen here from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to scrape that boogery stuff off the paper. It comes stuck at you know, that sticks to the... You know what? My whole video should be a blooper. Anyway, um, I just give it one light coat at first. I end up giving it two coats total. Um, all on the inside, the sides, the back, the whole nine. <clears throat> okay, there, after I got my... Two coats. I'm going to take black. And you know what I'm going to do. Y'all was not new to this game. But I messed up. Okay, that Mod Podge is the... It says you can put stuff in the dishwasher Mod Podge. Well, yeah, that's true, and I'm not planning on putting that in the dishwasher, just so I could wipe it down, you know, when it gets dusty or anything like that. But what you should always do is wait for the black paint to dry before you start smearing Mod Podge on it. So I end up with streaks. So I'm repurposing one of those little candlesticks there. You see that black on the bottom of the pan, which I don't care. It just makes it look so, just gives it some, um, 
gives it some, you know, interest. Anyway, <clears throat> so, put my candle there. Now, that eucalyptus came from the Dollar Tree. And that's really, I mean, that's, it was pretty. But I didn't want to cut it because it's the garland. So, I took other eucalyptus that I'd already cut up and I stuck it in there. Because when I wrapped the garland around, it like swallowed the entire candle. It was like crazy. So, then I put some baby's breath in there. And that's all I'm going to do that. That couldn't be easier, could it? Well, it could have. We could have spray painted it, but it's freezing out. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was adorable. Mm-hmm. I did. I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, look what she did. A masterpiece. I mean, I glued a candlestick to a cake pan for Pete's sakes. But I think it's cute with the decorations in it. And the, how it's painted. <laughs> <laughs> See? Anyway. So, this is two packs of the five-gallon paint sticks. Paint stir sticks. Yeah, the big ones. So, I'm just taping them together. Um, I do that when I cut them on the miter saw. I wanted to show you. Um, and save one. I save all the little handles. But save one of those handles when y'all cut them. So, the side with the numbers on it, the ruler port. I'm going to glue, hot glue, the little handle there to the top boards first. Now, it would have been better with wood glue, but I was in a hurry. Anyway, so I'm just doing paint. No, I'm not. Craft sticks all the way down the back of it to hold it together. <laughs> you see how I did that? It's got craft sticks everywhere. So this is going to be like a giant cutting board. Anyway... I'm taking that Waverly Wax, and that is a stain brush, or a wax brush, or anything you want to do, like to cover up, give furniture a coating, polyacrylic brush, anything like that. So, anyway, I put the Waverly Wax on, and I wiped it off. Y'all sure see what I did here, too. I drilled a hole in my little handle. And sanded it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm giving this a heavy coat of white. I used a chippy brush because I didn't want it completely covered. I wanted some of that brown to show through, but for the most part, yeah, it looks white. Well, don't look white. I mean, it looks, well, maybe. I don't know. Y'all use your opinion. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty white. So I got one of those decals there at the Dollar Tree. And it said the secret ingredient is love. And that's cute. I was trying to find some things to use um, for anyone that doesn't have a cutting machine. That you can still make cute decor. Um, I can't find very many of those little um, wall decals and stuff like that at any of my Dollar Trees. Or I would use them far more often for y'all. But either they get wiped out or we just don't get them. So I got that ribbon there. It's got little cows and sheep and chickens and pigs on it. And some of that um, black and white grow game. No. Black and white. I don't know what the name of it is. Anyway, ribbon. And I just put them together and made a cute little bow. Gingham. Gingham ribbon. Did I scare you? I think about all this stuff and remember the names of everything before I start the video. Then I start doing the voiceover and I forget the name of everything. So I'm just putting little lambs here on each side. And I got that baker's twine. And I'm going to just trip it up. Take three strands of it. <clears throat> Put through my little hole. 
and tie it like in two little knots. You'll see, yeah, like that. See, I do that twice. I just want to add some thickness to it. And we'll call this DIY done. Yep. Isn't that cute? I think that's pretty. I like it a lot. I hope y'all like it too. Isn't that cute? Aww, isn't that cute? <laughs> <clears throat> I really do like that. Kind of looks like my mom's paddle when I was growing up. <laughs> Except hers was a lot thicker. But if you hit somebody like that, that may fall apart. But I'm not suggesting going around hitting anybody. Okay, so I got one of those. I really wanted to use this at sign from the Dollar Tree because I wanted the um, shiplap look in it. And, yeah. So, you know how they warp? Well, I was trying to bend it back into flatten it out, and it snapped in half. So I got one of those old Halloween ones out. Because I had a really cute idea for the longer board, but yeah, it just didn't work. So anyway, I'm going to make this one work. <clears throat> so I'm going to paint it all in white. My nephew Jay said, does she know any other colors but white? <laughs> anyway, he's a little smart aleck. Hi, Jace. Anyway, well, I don't really want, this is really rustic. I don't really want a shiplap look on this. I want it to look like old planks, old boards that, yeah, I just want this to look really old. So, it is very rustic looking. And I got that sticker, decal from the Dollar Tree. It says family. Now, y'all could just leave it white. It's pretty like that. It is. But, I go extra. Because I had an idea in mind and I went with it. So, I have celery chalk paint. Because you know how boards get all green and stuff after they've hung outside for a while. And I'm going to distress it a little bit with that celery chalk paint. And I don't mind that. Like. <clears throat> this time. I don't mind that showing around it. That plastic showing around it. And I took some antique wax and distressed it some more. And then I got me a thin paintbrush and I went down those lines with the antique wax that I'd drawn earlier and I went over top of the decal too even and it's dry it ain't smearing or smudging or nothing until I did that but I mean it's dry now <laughs> and it won't smear or smudge y'all could put some uh Mod Podge on it if you wanted after it dried completely but I didn't and I just love how it turned out. I just absolutely adore that. I think that's pretty. I put two little leaves and lamb's ear on it and one cotton ball. And I took a piece of nautical rope. And I unwrapped it because it was just a little bit too thick for my lockings. And just left it with the two strings to make my hanger. Yeah. Anyway, and there that is. This is it, y'all. This is the end. That was fast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, y'all know I love you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I appreciate you so, so very much. And to all my new subscribers, thank you very much. To all my old subscribers, and I don't mean that bad. Thank y'all so very much for being there for me and supporting me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I promise you I do. Again, <clears throat> I love you from the bottom of my heart. 
And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.